let's have a look together so let's see player introduction 1998 uh, 1 meter 77 so he's about he's about to he's like almost 25 years old at the moment plays at chelsea uh life left wing um he play as a playmaking winger strength are acceleration dribbling agility flair and off the ball aerial duels is a little bit weak okay Tec okay dribbling eight technique eight finishing seven long shot seven he looks good take yeah the defensive wise is is a bit weak but he's gonna learn because he's gonna be playing Serie A, so he has to learn is fast acceleration one meter 77 okay quite hard it's okay concentration seven out of ten so that means it is is a constantly in the game which is good let's have a look let's have a look about pulisic this young american player that is going to be playing for a similar from the next season Playing right now in Chelsea, uh, all the Chelsea team had a very, very bad season this year. Boom, goal. Uh, but um, he scored only one goal this season, which is a bit scary. Uh, but he didn't, he didn't play too many games this year. But uh, yeah, I think uh, he just needs to be a little bit more constant. Of course, this is a good pass, by the way. Good vision right there. Uh, very good dribbling. Very good. Oop. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hope, hope, come on, nice. He's fast, he's fast. I like him because he, he looks fast. He looks good, he has a good technique. Penalty. There you go. Yeah, I think it's for, for Milan it's going to be interesting, of course, to, be, to see him playing along with Leao because both together Leao and this guy, they are fast players. So it's uh, it's gonna be nice to see uh, how the Italian uh, how the Italian defense they're gonna they're gonna commit to this because uh, of course sometimes watching a similar play on the left side, which is our fastest side because we have Leao because we have Ternandez and now on the right we're gonna have Pulisic which is I feel like he's fast he's dribbling, woo. He can really do something special, of course. Uh, so um, the only thing that scares me, the, scares me the most, as I said before, are his injury. His injuries is constantly have. I don't think he ever had a, a season without injuries since he played professional football. So, which is a little bit scary because, as well, in Milan we are looking for somebody stable. We are looking for somebody that he can constantly play. We are looking for somebody that. Uh, in Milan, we have already have a lot of players that they are constantly injured, constantly injured. And uh, as a fan, of course, we make fun of our uh, of Milanello, which is our uh, our hospital. I don't know how to explain this in, in English, but where the where the where the doctors are looking after the the players. And uh, so far, we had a lot of lot of issues now. Is it like a Rebic? I see him only playing with his. Let me see. No, it's not like a Rebic. Come on, guys. It's, it's much more. Re Rebic in the last year, he did. He stopped play, playing football. He was so lame in everything he was doing, man. He was like, a, like Space Jam. Literally, his soul was like. <sighs> No, his soul, his uh, his talent was being sucked away, and he was like a normal player before. He was deadly, and now it's yeah. But yeah, we will see about Pulisic, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very curious because again, he got a lot of uh, media attention, especially because he's the captain of of USA. He's um, uh, yeah, of course he's, he's American, and an American is gonna host the World Cup in 2026. Uh, he's coming to to play in Italy, uh, which is uh, you know I feel like uh, uh, recently uh, kind of CBS is getting more and more attention over over the Serie A of the, the Campionato, 
uh, which is cool for us, of course, more attention, more money, more media. Of course, it's very, oh, that way was a goal almost. But uh, we will see, guys, we will see, we will see. We are very curious to see him in San Siro. Uh, for him, it's going to be an incredible experience because Italians are different from uh, Italian stadium as well. They are very different from uh, a lot of stadium in England, um, the, especially San Siro. On a big night, that could be a derby, it could be Milan-Napoli, Milan-Juventus. Oof. Uh, and uh, Italian supporters, they are not like English that they always clap their hands if, if even if you miss the ball. If it's an important match and you miss the ball or you're not playing well, people will boo at you, will boo. If you're not playing well, Italian fans, they are deadly on that. And it's very scary. It's, it's not a good thing. I agree with you. It's not a very good thing because, of course, he's a player. You always want him to, to play his best. But it could happen that um, if he's not playing well, a lot of players feel the pressure. For example, our um, 35 million euro um, uh, Charles de Cattler, a young 18 years old Belgian guy that last year we bought him. We thought that he's going to become one of the best uh, uh, right uh, back, uh, sorry, right back, one of the best uh, um, trequartistas in Serie A. Instead, he shit in his pants and uh, is, a, is a ghost of a player.